for you key can remove iPhone passwords and Apple IDs. Links will be in the description down below. Hey, what is up guys? I myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about iOS 13.3.1 Beta 3. Apple released this software nearly five days after the filming of this video. And as I usually like to do, I like to come back and share with you guys my thoughts on the software, talk about the performance, as well as the YouTube community poll where you guys also have an input and express your thoughts on how the latest iOS 13.3.1 one beta three has been working for you so we'll get to some of those details here in a few seconds now there's four major things that apple is looking to address with 13.3.1 if you follow me here on the channel you know that on speakerphone when you go to make a phone call on the latest ios 13.3 and 13.3.1 there used to be echo well apple has definitely addressed this issue so if you're having issues with echo on speakerphone on the latest ios 13.3 or 13.3.1 you can rest assured that apple has definitely fixed this issue over the past several days have had no complaints whatsoever of echo when on speakerphone now there's also another issue that you guys probably already know about that apple looks to fix with ios 13.3.1 and that is communication limits of bypass there was a bypass for this particular feature on ios 13.3 and 13.3.1 has definitely addressed that issue here as well now i personally encounter an issue with iphone 11 and 11 pro models where airdrop would just not work properly i couldn't send files to my device or receive in some instances so apple has definitely addressed this issue as well airdrop is working just fine now the reasoning behind airdrop not working properly is because apple was working on the u1 chip on the iphone 11 to address an issue where location services will remain active apple took a different route and approach to fixing this issue with adding a new network and a wireless toggle to the system services which i don't believe is the proper way to fix this issue now for those of you that don't know of course location services when you deactivate them it means that the iphone shouldn't be sending out any location but with the iphone 11's u1 chip there was an issue where the location services will remain active it looks like if you turn off that toggle you'll lose on performance but location services will be definitely deactivated they ultra wideband and again this is specific to iphone 11 and 11 pro models these are the only devices with this chip now i want to talk about the iphone 10r because i've traveled with iphone 10r over the past several days alongside iphone 11 and i've noticed the reception issues continue on iphone 10r now that is the fourth issue that apple is looking to address but unfortunately with the latest 13.3.1 i don't believe that apple has fixed it i've traveled many locations made phone calls on iphone 10r it would turn to 4g and then it will disconnect so it would be weird to be lte when the phone call was initiated it would turn to 4g and then completely deactivate and disconnect from the call the call would not go through i attempted the same thing on an iphone 11 same location same carrier the iphone 11 i made the phone call no problem now downloading applications on different locations using the lte would take forever on the iPhone 10R and the iPhone 11 would just cruise right by it again. Same networks, same locations. It appears that reception issues on iPhone 10R unfortunately continue to happen on the latest 13.3.1 beta 3 and it's a bit unfortunate of course iphone 10 our users uh, will look out for that let me know in the comments down below if you're having those issues now let's head on over to youtube to talk about the youtube community poll this is where you guys also have an input so i did post this youtube community poll yesterday and i did ask how is ios 13.3.1 beta 3 working for you so far now we have 2500 votes so far a 20 percent of you guys are having a great experience i have to agree ios 13.3.1 has been good the only issues that i'm encountering is the iphone 10r but my daily driver is the iphone 11 but the battery also kind of okay i haven't tested it thoroughly because it does take a long time to test these batteries but i'm also waiting for the official release i think it's a more of a fair judgment after apple releases 13.3.1 official then i'll test that versus 13.3 stay tuned for that video that is coming your way is well but i can say that battery has been steady so far no major complaints on the iphone 11 models as of right now an eight percent okay but still some bugs of course there's always going to be minor bugs within the software but i have to say that most bugs have been addressed again excluding iphone 10r and then a four percent have a bad experience if you're having a bad experience and you vote on these youtube community polls please express your thoughts in the comments of this youtube community poll so that we understand 
why is it that some users are having a bad experience and i'm very happy that most of you have been listening a 69 percent of you guys that voted are not running ios 13.3.1 and i do not recommend running the software as of yet until it's fully released sometimes when apple is testing a software at the very last minute things go south so just hold on if you're on ios 13.3 and below just stay there for now and let's go ahead and take a look at some of these comments here so the first comment one of the most popular is still on ios 13.3 so great job guys it looks like battery life is awesome on the iphone 10r for some users i do see mixed results when it comes to battery on the 10r but it looks like one of the most popular comments iphone 10r battery life looks to be good and the comment below that also states here that the battery is awesome but lte problems still persist and you guys can read through some of these comments here where everyone expresses their thoughts on how the latest iOS 13.3.1 is working so that way you can make a good judgment and see if updating to the latest 13.3.1 would be the right thing to do but right now hold off Apple should be releasing this software in about a week or so I think we would see another gold master copy this week coming up on the 27th the week of the 27th we should see another gold master or beta coming our way and an official release just shortly I don't think Apple is going to be dragging this any further it looks like the issues most of them have been addressed and hopefully another beta and a gold master will address lte on iphone 10r so there you guys have it just my follow-up thoughts let me know what you think in the comments down below hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you real soon peace